The construction of a nuclear power plant is a contentious topic in Kazakhstan. Recent polls showed that 46.6% of those who took part in a survey supported the construction of NPP in Kazakhstan. However, the considerable part of society still holds concerns over the future of nuclear projects in country. Baljan Samigulina weighted off all pros and cons. Kazakhstan is currently considering the possibility of building the first nuclear power plant in the country. According to the plan of Kazakhstan nuclear power plants, responsible for it, the estimated cost of the building the nuclear power plants totals to 15 billion US dollars, with plant commissioning by 2035. Its partners, the country has elected four companies for the short lease, Korean QHNP, Russian Rosatom, Chinese CNNC and French EPR. The chosen vendors offer the last generation of nuclear power plants. It is third generations of NPPs. All these countries are operating nuclear power plants for decades. According to the project for the water-cooled reactors that Kazakhstan is considering, a three-loop cooling system is envisaged, which is available for last model of reactors. Most of the nuclear reactors operating in the world today are what are known as light water reactors. The most widely used fuel for such reactors is uranium, a common metal mined from rocks all over the world. Here, Kazakhstan, Canada and Namibia are among the biggest suppliers. However, for some, nuclear power may still conjure images of mushroom clouds or bring back memories of disturbing nuclear disasters like Chernobyl, Fukushima and Three Miles Island. Looking at the world, there hasn't been much construction of nuclear power recently because of the change in perception after the accidents. In the wake of them, the Western governments made a determination to shut down all of the nuclear energy and import natural gas from other countries, as well as the 90s, the regulation of the energy market in the world left nuclear power competing with all other kinds of energy on an open market. There are plenty of alternative options available. Building a nuclear power plant is a premature decision. I believe we need to work on and consider how to harness solar and wind energy instead. It would be better to focus in that direction. Apart from the environmental pollution that building a nuclear power plant would cause, there is also a significant risk due to our lack of experience with nuclear power plants. The recent disasters at Chernobyl and Fukushima demonstrate that humanity hasn't yet reached a level of mastery over nuclear energy. The reasons why nuclear power plants are shut down are often complicated and typically come down to political and economic factors. The primary opposition revolves around concerns regarding radiation safety, environmental impacts and the potential consequences of accidents. We need to ensure that nuclear power plant technology is designed to prevent environmental consequences. The most important aspect is the selection of technologies. If it's possible to avoid using water, it's better not to use it. If there is an option for nuclear waste recycling, it should be pursued. These mechanisms need to be solved out and made known to the public. Another common argument against nuclear power plants is that we already have other renewables to help us decarbonize, as well as other ways such as waste to energy technology used in some European countries. The method, as eco-activist Salim Shagalimov says, is based on the use of modern combustion and biological te technologies to recover energy from urban waste. A significant amount of waste can be recycled and used to generate both heat and electricity. In Vienna, there is a waste-to-energy plant located in the city center surrounded by cafes and universities. The plant provides heating for 130,000 people and generates electricity. All the waste collected in the city is processed with glass and plastic extracted for recycling. After processing, the remaining waste is incinerated to produce electricity. However, energy experts note, despite public fear around nuclear power, the technology has proven to be an emission-free, reliable way to produce large amounts of electricity on a 24-7 basis on a small footprint. As a result, sentiments about the technology are beginning to change. 
Kazakhs seem to be changing their views too. A recent poll conducted by International Center of Journalism, Medianet, found that 46% of voters are in support of building new nuclear power plants, compared to 37% who oppose such a measure. The main argument to favor revolves around addressing the electricity deficit, reducing coal usage and existing successful experience of other countries. We, as specialists in this field, are ahead in terms of acquiring new information about nuclear safety compared to our population. Nuclear safety technology has significantly advanced. We plan to build a third-generation nuclear power plant. Third-generation nuclear power plants have significantly higher safety standards compared to second-generation plants like Chernobyl and Fukushima. In three-plus generation plants, safety is ensured without human intervention. This means that accidents like those that occurred previously are fundamentally eliminated because, according to the laws of physics, the plant can shut down automatically. Therefore, the safety of the nuclear power plants we intend to build is substantially higher and practically 100% safe in terms of serious accidents. Worldwide, there are about 440 operational nuclear reactors that are responsible for supplying around 10% of the world's electricity. By 2035, the development of Kazakhstan's generation predicts an increase in the use of renewable energy sources and nuclear power plants, according to QNPP data. Undoubtedly, we all now are convinced that by 2030, Kazakhstan will face an electricity deficit. Therefore, nuclear energy is one of the solutions to this situation. It's no secret that Kazakhstan currently relies mostly on fossil fuels, primary coal, which is the predominantly mined through open pit methods. Nuclear power plants do not emit pollutants. The problem lies in the fact that in Kazakhstan currently there is insufficient advocacy and persuasion among the population regarding this matter. Notably, neighboring China already has 56 nuclear energy units with a total capacity exceeding 57,000 megawatts. Moreover, the country plans to build an additional 24 units in the near future. For some Chinese provinces, nuclear power plants became even a sightseeing. Our school's curriculum includes a textbook that introduced local features. It covered the local economy and the attractions in the area, including the nuclear power plant. In September of last year, public hearings were held in the Almaty region regarding the construction of a nuclear power plant. However, the first step towards building the country's first nuclear power plant will still demand on a national referendum. Baljan Samigulna, Raimbek Begujaev, Kushkarbaik Aliyev, New Time.